brothers are walking around with egos, man. Brother, who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Honestly, who are you kidding? And you know what the truth is? Wallahi, you're only arrogant on the one that you know he can't do anything anyway. He's a miskin. But as soon as someone comes in that's bigger than him, richer than him, more capable than him, like a cat, like a rat, he knows his spine, he goes and he runs straight into it. What, 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 you know, Wallahi, there's always going to be someone bigger. There's always going to be someone stronger. There's always going to be someone with more money. So relax and follow your prophet. Which side do you want? Which side are we on, my brothers? On the day of judgment, don't think, you know, Wallahi, one of the names of the day of judgment is the day of regret. The name of the day of judgment is the day of regret. Because the truth is, many of us now, we're living in Disneyland. All the boys, you know, we have this mindset. Now, you know what? I can do whatever I want. Let me run a mark. Let me do this, that, and the other. And then at the end, I'll do hajj. I'll patch it up. I'll repent. And then everything is going to be all right. Brother, where did you get this from? Where did you get this from? Brothers, now when they die, everyone asks, Brother, did he make shahada before he died? One guy tells me, yeah, guys, we've seen his finger move. Brother, what does that mean? What does that mean? The guy lived on earth like a tyrant, what? Because he made shahada before he died. That means it's going to be all right. Who are we kidding? The brothers go away on holidays, yeah, with the boys. He's doing haram, racking up, drugs, women, girls. The guy drowned. He drowned in his haram. Brothers told me about, alhamdulillah, we heard that the one that dried, you know, that the guy that drowns, it's a sign of what? That he died a shaheed. Brother, what planet are you on? Well, brother, we heard he died on a Friday. What does that mean? You know when that brother died, you know the guy that died on the motorbike and there was that video? That video, Wallahi, Ya Allah made my blood boil, bro. There was a video that was recorded. The video wasn't even complete. The brother that actually recorded it, when he recorded it, he called me. So this is Wallahi for the sake of that brother so I can clarify things for you. Yeah? When the brother was recording it, he called me. He said to me, brother, I'm telling the guy to make shahada is not making it. But so what does that mean? Do you think that's a bad sign? I said to him, brother, is he responding? He said, yeah, he's looking me in the eyes. I said, so when you're talking, does he know what you're saying? He says, yeah, he knows. I said, is there any? He said, he's squeezing on my legs. I said to him, that's it. Then he knows what you're saying. And people are talking, oh, brother, he died and he didn't say shahada. I ask you by Allah, from the time you've seen that video to now, how many times have you made shahada? The brother went straight into a, 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 a track at 150 k's. The guy's ripped up the... Yeah, of course it's not going to make sure everyone thinks that, you know what, when I die, it's going to be calm and collected. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Wallahi, my brothers, we live in Disneyland. But we hang on to these things, we cling on to it. Almost as if, and you look, you know what, did the brother make shahada? Yeah, he made shahada. What, well, really, be honest, dig down in your hearts, how do you feel? Khalas is going to be alright. Really, my brother? Really, is he really going to be alright? Facts, facts, don't get upset with me. Facts. The day of resurrection is a day that's 50,000 years long. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He describes that day. Facts, Quran. He says on that day, the pregnant woman will lose her load. He says a child on that day, a child. That this child is free, he's bari, he's never done any sins. He's got nothing to worry about. The kid's got nothing to worry about. Fact. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on that day his hair is going to go grey. Fact, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, your mother's going to rain, your mother will run away from you, your father will run away from you, your mother, your wife, your children, your husband, every single person that you know will run away from you. Fact. Prophets, fact, prophets are going to be scared on that day. Prophets are going to be scared. The Prophet of Allah, when he says to Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, he says on that day you'll be naked, barefooted, uncircumcised, ya Aisha. I remember once I mentioned this hadith in the gathering in the masjid. 
So one of the boys, he came to me after, he said to me, brother, how can you mention that hadith? You know, I've got a 12-year-old daughter here, you know, that maybe it was a bit inappropriate. So I actually felt bad. Then when I was driving home, I thought, hang on, if the Prophet of Allah, who was the king and the master of Haya and shyness and, 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 you know, and, and, you know, and the best of character, he had no problems conveying this to his wife. Why should I be embarrassed to convey it? He's telling his wife Aisha, naked, barefooted, uncircumcised. I ask you by Allah, isn't it enough for me to tell you that you're going to be naked? Don't you get the picture? Khalas, I'm naked. We understand naked, finished, done. No, naked, barefooted and uncircumcised. Why uncircumcised? Why? Because he's letting you know, even that little piece of foreskin, that left you when you were a baby, bro, when you were pure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even that piece of foreskin, Allah is going to bring it back, restore it. Why? Because not an inch, not a single inch of you will escape Allah on that day. The brother's comfortable here. Alhamdulillah, he moved his finger around. Alhamdulillah, he didn't pray, but wallah, he had the best heart. And everyone's sure, but it's going to be all right. Yeah, the brother didn't pray. Yeah, the brother didn't pray. My brothers and sisters, let me clarify something because we have been polluted. Let me tell you something just for the sake of understanding. Because there's many people who tell me, look, you know, maybe I don't pray, Akhi, but you don't know what I do in secret. Yeah, you know, maybe I don't pray, but so Allah, I've got a big heart. You know, Allah, you know, I give a lot of money in charity. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you something and understand this as fact. As far as sin is concerned, and please understand this message very, very clearly. Of course, it's all sin, it's all haram, none of it is good and accepted. But for the sake of understanding, because many of us, well, we see a brother that's selling drugs, we see a brother that maybe murdered another brother, and we say, Fa, look at these people, look how rubbish they are. Habibi, let me tell you something in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As far as sin is concerned, yeah? The one that sells drugs, good or bad? Just very quickly, good or bad? Bad. How about the murderer? How about the one who commits adultery, zina? What about the one who rapes a child? What about the one who drinks alcohol? What about the one who does the biggest of the kabad, good or bad? This person, one person that commits all of these sins, he commits all of these sins on a daily basis, but he prays is better in the eyes of Allah than the one that doesn't commit any of these sins, but doesn't pray. So you and your brother, yeah, I'm a good guy. Habibi, God packed that up because it's not going to work on the day of judgment. Any person that misses one salah, one, one, not two, one salah, you miss one salah for no reason. You're worse than a murderer. You're worse than a rapist. You're worse than a terrorist. You're worse than a pedophile in the eyes of Allah. But it's all right because his finger moved and he died on a Friday, man. Which side are you on, my brothers? Prophets will be scared on that day. Prophets and the they're going to be scared and petrified. And you and I, it's all right, Akhi, relax, man. What's wrong with this guy, brother? Why is he losing his mind for? My brothers, who are we kidding? What side of the fence are you on? Fact that day, the sun will be a mile above your head. One mile above your head. One mile. The Prophet of Allah, he says, every person will be sweating, sallallahu alayhi wa Every person will be sweating, each person according to his sins. Some of you, you sweat to your ankles, some to your knees, some to your waist. He says, some of you will be drowning in your own sin. Fact, Quran. He says, on that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, on that day, you see people running around. Oh, yani running around like he's intoxicated. Allah says, but they're not intoxicated. Allah says the severity of that day is so severe, people have, people have been driven to madness. And you and I, where, where are we? Which side are you on? Look at the way we're living our lives. If he's not a gangster on the street, he works 24 hours a day. If he doesn't work 24 hours a day, he's a bum 24 hours of the day. Nothing to do. I visited the house not that long ago. Wallahi, they smoked pot from Maghrib to Fajr. 
And you know how many of these houses exist. Brothers that are married with children, married with children, he smokes pot from Maghrib till Fajr. Which side are you on? The Prophet of Allah on that day, he says there are seven that will be under the shade of Allah on a day when there is no shade except his shade. Only seven, they'll be under the shade of Allah, under his arsh. Which side will you be on on that day, my brother? Which side? You know, my brothers, let me tell you something. You choose the life of the prophets, you have the ending of the prophets. But if you choose the life of Pharaoh, you're going to have the ending of Pharaoh. There's no running away from this fact. You choose the life of Pharaoh, Allah is going to give you the ending of Pharaoh. And how many times have we seen that, man? How many times have we seen it? Wallahi, my brothers, how many more times are we going to see killings and murders? And dr Wallahi, this community is drowning. The community is drowning. Wallahi, it's drowning. And we're in a bubble. We're in a bubble. Akhi, what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your time? What do you want to be like? Do you want to be like the prophets and the Sahaba? Or do you want to be like, why have we chosen the life of pranksters and thugs? Why have we chosen this life over the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Please tell me, what is it? Do you think there's happiness in that? Do you honestly think there's happiness? I'm going to share with you facts. These are the things you don't hear about. But the brothers here, especially those brothers that used to live that life and have genuinely changed and repented. You know, these people, they actually need to start speaking up a lot more. Why? Because when someone like me speaks, people think I'm twisting the truth. Wallahi, I tell you exactly what it is. You know, my brothers, these people, you think they're happy, eh? When you and I see pranksters outside on the street, we think they're happy, don't we? Why? Because he's driving a hectic car, when he walks into a particular area or into a particular place, everyone gives him the respect that, you know. Well, so we think these people are happy. But truth, fact, wallahi, fact. Look, you cannot run away from formulas that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, fact. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً Any person, خلاص a prank star, not a prank star, he's just busy. Any person, any individual that stays away from the remembrance of Allah, stays away from the deen of Allah, stays away from the way of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Any person, ask yourself, am I miserable? Yes. Why? This is the formula. Any person that stays away from the deen of Allah, the promise of Allah, فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ For him is a miserable, wretched life. 